technology. So uh, on that note, my name is David Edwards. I'm a software engineer with Pivotal Labs. I'm Matt Rothenberg. I'm a designer at Pivotal Labs. And yesterday, I spent some time with David hacking on Contender, a tool that aims to shed light on uncontested state legislature races. Without further ado. Yeah. Let's see if I can grab the... the clicker. There was a clicker. Yoink. So there's a gridlock in Washington, and it's very easy for people to feel like they're not being heard at the federal Congress level. And the thing that we observed is that state governments, in comparison to the federal Congress, are passing a lot of legislation. And sometimes that doesn't really get noticed. You hear about different states passing laws about minimum wage, talking about legalization of marijuana. And yet, there's a whole lot of attention that still goes to the federal Congress. Exactly. And moreover, state elections tend to have this reputation of being a little silly, outrageous. Um, if you're a fan of John Oliver's talk show, you might have seen these campaign advertisements where we have a jolly old man doing some reps on a speed bag, a guy holding up a falcon of some kind, a guy holding a chicken. And you have to ask, these people are passing a very important legislation, or legislation pardon me, in my state, near and dear to me. So there's kind of a juxtaposition here that yeah. caught our interest. And so our hypothesis is that there's a lot of people who don't really have an awareness that there's a whole lot of legislation being passed by these state legislatures. And in many cases, it's not even that it's being passed by someone that they didn't vote for, but it's actually being passed by someone that no one voted for because a very large percentage of state legislatures run unopposed. Um, so even in cases where there's not just a primary that gets run where only one party actually is in power, but there isn't even a primary because the party in power only fields one person. So there's a whole bunch of people in the legislature that no one actually has to vote for at all, and they're passing lots of legislation. Eek. So we came up with something called Contender. Um, it's a visualization tool that we want to use to display where this phenomenon is in full force, and by doing so, hopefully generate some conversation amongst these constituents in the hopes that one of them will run against one of these unopposed people and become a contender. And we built a prototype that um, we have a link to. Pull that bad boy up. And here you see it. We have a visualization of the state of Georgia. Uh, we picked Georgia because it happens to be a pretty good example of where this is rampant. Um, here you have the upper chamber of the Georgia state legislature. That's the Senate. And the districts in red, if you click on one, you'll see something happen. A little bug there, but you see a picture of Mr. Jack Hill and a stamp that says unopposed. So in that state legislature, we have a guy making legislation, and he never ran against anybody. And we find that a little troublesome, and we hope this tool does generate that kind of conversation and awareness around this. Um, and it's, in its current iteration, we're just displaying those people, but we're happy to talk about how we would improve that in the future. Back to the slides, please. So in future iterations, few slides ahead. Um, we'd like to put, we'd like to go and get more data. Uh, we wrote a web scraper to go over Ballotpedia in order to find out about Georgia and other states. But we'd like to have more to show the entire US and then also try to show some information about uh, the criteria in different states for running for, uh, for a seat and things like when do you have to file your signature, how many signatures do you have to get, and try it in order to try to get more people involved with this and uh, running as soon as we can. Yep. And quick overhaul of the tools we used, um, Sunlight Foundation, great APIs, Cardo DB for the map visualization, and some good old web scraping. And I think we have time for a great GIF. So if you go down, awesome. Please click that link. It's very important. Mission critical. Watch what happens. Wait, wait, wait. Go for it. That is a state legislature giving a right hook to his fellow colleague in the <laughs> Alabama State Senate. Um, yes. Thank you. Drop the this is great, and it's great to shed light on these issues. What's your theory of the case of how you're going to get people to run once they see your data? So that's a bit of an unstated part of the hypothesis, which is that people, because they're paying so much attention to the federal level, they don't know that this is going on, and that we believe that there are people who might otherwise want to get involved. And because they're thinking about the federal level, yeah, it's very hard to get on that stage. But the great thing about local government is that it's smaller. There's fewer people involved, and it's easier to, to get into it. So we're hoping that by making this more of a 
uh, present and a uh, present thing that people are aware of, that people who are out there who might otherwise run but never thought to will then enter the races if we can make it easy for them. One suggestion you may want to um, add in there is um, trying to find out how much it costs for the people who ran unopposed, you know, because obviously people talk a lot about money in politics, so demonstrating that there aren't um, you know, really high costs when, when it's an unopposed race. Absolutely. Something to think about. Thank you all. Thank you.